Equivalent fractions. Consider a pack of 80 chocolates. Let us take 10 pieces of chocolates from the whole pack. So what fraction is 10 pieces out of the 80 pieces? It is 10 divided by 80. Now let's divide the whole pack into half. We get 40 chocolates in each half. And we can see that from each half, 5 chocolates are taken. So what fraction is 5 chocolates in each half? It is 5 by 40. Now let us divide the pack into 5 equal parts. We will get 16 chocolates in each part. We can see that each of the separated chocolates are now 2. So what is the fraction in this case? It is 2 by 16. That is 2 parts out of 16 parts is considered. Now let us see all the fractions. 10 by 80, 5 by 40 and 2 by 16. If we simplify each part, we see that they are all having the same value. Let's see. 10 by 80. Now 10 and 80 both are divisible by 10. So dividing the numerator and the denominator by 10, we get 10 ones are 10, 10 eights are 80. So 1 by 8. How do we simplify 5 by 40? The numbers 5 and 40 are both divisible by 5. So dividing the numerator and denominator by 5, we get 5 ones are 5, 5 eights are 40, 1 by 8. Simplifying 2 by 16, both 2 and 16 are divisible by 2. So dividing the numerator and the denominator by 2, we get 2 ones are 2, 2 eights are 16, 1 by 8. So in each of these scenarios, we see that on simplification, the value is 1 by 8. These fractions 10 by 80, 5 by 40 and 2 by 16 are called equivalent fractions. So the fractions which on simplification give the same value are called equivalent fractions. Representation of fractions on the number line. If we were to represent 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, on a number line it would look like this. This is called a number line. Here the numbers are evenly spaced out. Suppose the distance between point 0 and 1 is 1 unit. Then the distance between the points 2 and 4 would be 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 units. So we now know that whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on are represented on a number line as shown. Suppose we want to show the fraction 1 by 2 or half on the number line. Into how many parts should the length between 0 and 1 be divided? We divide the length into two equal parts as shown. Suppose we want to show 1 by 3 or 1 third on the number line. Into how many parts should the length between 0 and 1 be divided? We divide the length into three equal parts as shown where 1 by 3 or 1 third means 1 part out of 3 and 2 by 3 or 2 third means 2 parts out of 3. Similarly, can we show 0 by 3 and 3 by 3 on the number line? 0 by 3 is the point 0 on the number line because 0 divided by 3 is 0 and 3 by 3 is the point 1 on the number line. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Let us show 2 by 7 on the number line. 2 by 7 means 2 parts out of 7 equal parts. 
So let's first divide the line into seven equal parts. Now two by seven means two parts out of seven. So we consider part one and part two on the number line. This would be two by seven or two parts out of seven on the number line. 